Maintaining doctrinal purity. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 6, love rejoices with the truth. Love never compromises God's word. Paul has just given us a list of things that love does not do. Become jealous, brag, act arrogantly or unbecomingly, seek its own, become provoked, keep track of wrongs suffered or rejoice in unrighteousness. Now he comes to the first of five things love does. Love rejoices with the truth found in verse six. The contrast in verse six is between love's inability to rejoice in unrighteousness and its joy when truth prevails. Truth refers to God's word, which is the standard of righteousness. Paul could have said, Love doesn't rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with righteousness. But he went beyond the mere deeds of righteousness and addressed its standard and motive. Love won't tolerate false doctrine or sinful behavior, but it rejoices when God's word is taught and obeyed. The psalmist said, Oh, how I love thy law. It is my mediation all the day. Thy commandments make me wiser than my enemies. I have more insight than all my teachers. I understand more than the aged. I have restrained my feet from every evil way, that I may keep thy word. I have not turned aside from thine ordinances, for thou thyself hast taught me. How sweet are thy words to my taste. Yes, sweeter than honey to my mouth. From thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. Found in Psalms chapter 119 verse 97 through 104. That's the testimony of one who rejoices in the truth. Often Christians are willing to compromise sound doctrine for the sake of loving others. They believe that doctrinal precision is somehow divisive and unloving. But scripture says this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. For many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. This is the deceiver and the antichrist. Watch yourselves that you might not lose what we have accomplished, but that you may receive a full reward. Found in 2 John, verse six through eight. Biblical love always operates within the parameters of God's word and spiritual discernment. The most loving thing you can do is live according to biblical truth. Doctrinal compromise simply diminishes the quality of love and plays into the hands of the evil one. Ask God for wisdom and discernment to keep your love within its proper biblical bounds. Amen. God bless you. Until next time.